Okay, now let's see this example, okay? The very first thing, eh? the very first thing is, uh, of course, you need to know whether this is a voltaic cell or uh, electrolytic cell, okay? So here, there is a galvanometers and then there's a switch. There's no battery, right? There's no battery in the circuit and then, then it, it cannot be electrolytic cell. Okay? Electrolytic cell, we must have a battery in the, in, in the circuit, okay? So there's no battery and uh, just a galvanometers to measure current. So this is a voltaic cell. Okay, it's a voltaic cell. And in a voltaic cell, a simple voltaic cell, they must have two pieces of metal plate. Okay, this is a metal plate. Huh? Okay, this one, these two are the metal plates. Huh? And these two metal plates, it must be different metals. You cannot use above magnesium, magnesium, or above copper, copper cannot. Okay, you must use a, a magnesium. The other one, uh, it must be other metals. Okay, if it, it can be magnesium or zinc or magnesium, aluminium, it's, it's okay, okay. But uh, you cannot use both magnesium or both copper. And these two metals immerse in an electrolyte. Uh, in this case, we use magnesium sulfate solution. So actually, you can use any electrolyte. Not necessarily must be uh, magnesium, okay. Some students think, okay, since we have magnesium, this must be, must be magnesium. No, 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 not necessarily must be like that. You can use sodium chloride, other, other uh, electrolyte. So there's two pieces of metals immersed in an electrolyte, eh? okay. And then uh, to tackle the questions related to voltaic cell, the very first thing is you need to know which one is a negative terminal, okay. Which one is a negative terminal? Of course, in this this picture is already given, okay. This show negative or positive, but uh, usually in the exam they won't tell you which one is a positive, which one is a negative, eh? okay. They won't label it here, so so you need to identify by yourself which one is a positive terminal and which one is a negative terminal. So uh, this diagram is shows that uh, magnesium is a negative terminal, okay. So can uh, can you please tell me why why magnesium is a negative terminal? That's correct, okay. Because there are higher in electrochemical series. Uh. So let's see this electrochemical series less and larger, okay. So this electrochemical series here, right? So magnesium uh, is higher than copper, right? Magnesium is higher than copper. This is magnesium, okay. So this is copper. So magnesium is higher than copper. So if magnesium is higher than copper, then uh, uh, magnesium magnesium is the negative terminal. The one higher is the negative terminal. Okay. So let's go back to the notes here. So magnesium is higher. So magnesium is uh, negative terminal. Okay. Then copper is the positive terminal. Okay. The the lower the uh, the metals uh, or, or a substance in electrochemical series is easier to be discharged. It's easier to be discharged, means that it will be selected to be discharged during electrolysis. But this one, uh, you need to know that the one higher is the negative terminal, and the one lower is the positive terminal. So if magnesium is higher, then magnesium is the negative terminal, okay? Copper is the positive terminal, okay? And uh, if magnesium is the negative terminal, so this magnesium is anode or cathode. It's a negative terminal, so it's A node or cathode. Negative is the A node, right? Negative is the A node, eh? Okay. So for electrolytic cell, negative is the A node. Okay, so reactions at A node. What will happen to A node? Okay, just now we learned that A node, the atoms will release electrons, right? You need to know which one is negative, which one is positive. Eh? So A node, eh? what will happen is the atoms of magnesium the atom of magnesium, it will release electrons, okay, to form magnesium ions, okay. Here they ask about the reactions at A nodes, huh? so uh, magnesium atom, okay, magnesium atoms. Now the this one is uh, this is here, okay, reactions at A node. I would like you to write the answer here. So magnesium atoms will or magnesium atoms uh, release electrons to form magnesium ions okay that's what happens so the metals of the uh, sorry the, the atoms of the metals will release electrons to form uh, ions okay so the half equations uh, before that before the reaction is magnesium atom uh, so we write mg this magnesium atoms and after the reaction it form magnesium ions uh, so it's mg2 positive and then uh, half equations we need to add electrons right so which side should we put our electrons? Left hand side or right hand side? Where should we put our electrons? Left or right? Right, okay, that's correct, okay? How do we know? You must see the charge, okay? So because of half equations, uh, charge 
on both sides must be the same okay so left hand side the charge is zero and the right hand side the charge is positive two so we need to plus two electrons uh, two electrons then the charge is negative two uh, okay so positive two plus negative two then is zero uh, then the charge balance uh, okay the charge balance so that is how we write uh, half equations another thing that you need to know is uh, the observations uh. now if magnesium atoms uh, okay become magnesium ions uh, can you please uh, tell me what's the possible uh, observations around a node uh, that's correct okay so the magnesium will corrode or it become thinner yeah the magnesium plate corrode and become thinner why because this is a metal so this is a metal but this one uh, this ion will dissolve in water okay so the magnesium metals will form magnesium ion and go to the solution so this one will become smaller and smaller okay will become thinner and thinner and thinner and uh, uh finally it will disappear so uh that is uh the chemical reactions occurs around a node eh? then how about uh cathode eh? so copper the positive uh, terminal the positive terminal is the cathode eh? okay the positive terminal is the cathode so what will happens around cathodes uh as i told you just now okay the the electron is not is not received by copper okay the electron is not received by copper instead it's received by the electrons uh, uh, sorry the the ions uh, the positive ions around copper now let's see what are the positive ions that present in this uh solution so tell me what's the positive ions that present in the solutions in this electrolyte magnesium ions okay so we have magnesium ions okay because it's a magnesium sulfate right magnesium sulfate solution so magnesium ions other than magnesium ions what else sulfate ions right okay we have some sulfate ions okay sulfate ions magnesium ions what else now this is a solutions eh? solutions then we have hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions eh? and hydroxide ions okay so these are the ions that presence okay these are the ions at presence. The electrons released by the magnesium by magnesium, okay, the electrons will go to, uh, will go to the positive terminal. And around this positive terminal, the positive ions will receive electrons. Eh? Receive electrons. If we have more than one type of positive ions around copper, usually we have more than one type, okay. Uh, then only the one which is lower, lower in electrochemical series, eh? okay. The one which is lower in electrochemical series will uh, receive the electrons. Okay, so now magnesium and hydrogen. Which one is lower in electrochemical series? Hydrogens, right? Okay, so hydrogens, hydrogens will receive electrons. Eh? So the electron will be received by hydrogens. Eh? Uh, before that is hydrogen ions. After receiving electron, it become a hydrogen molecule. Eh? Okay, to balance the equation, we need to, to have uh, two hydrogen ions and uh receiving two electrons uh, okay two electrons so these are half equations uh. the hydrogen ions will receive two electrons to form hydrogen molecule so uh for the reactions at a naught you say uh hydrogen ions so hydrogen ions uh, around the cathodes will receive electrons to form hydrogen molecule okay now this hydrogen molecule is uh is in gaseous state uh, at room temperature so this is a gas uh, gas uh. so for the observations you you must write the observations for uh hydrogen gas okay first you say uh colorless gas you cannot say hydrogen gas is released okay that's not observations observation is only based on what you see on here yeah? so colorless gas bubble off and uh for hydrogens and oxygen you need to uh for most of the gas okay actually you need to uh, uh suggest a test to identify the gas so uh, colorless gas bubbled off uh when lighted wooden splinter is inserted into the test tube that contains the gas a pop a pop sound is produced okay 